hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we are going to be creating a qr code using python okay so this is going to be a very simple tutorial we'll talk about how to create a simple qr code and we'll go into a bit of advanced topic about uh, creating qr codes curling the curling them and uh, stuff like that so this is the basic thing that we're going to do and uh yeah it's okay to, it's going to be a match but it's going to be really interesting and you learn a lot from uh, this qr code so if you're not a qr code it's a uh, for example if you buy like product from the supermarket or some uh, shopping center you find like this kind of a uh, uh, hash symbols and this weird symbol okay so this kind of symbols um can be can, can be used to store different information so it can be used to store, uh, store information of urls of product details and other stuff like that so if you have, to, you have a detail that you want to store then it's you can use a qr code to store that detail so in this today so we're going to go over i'm going to show how to create a simple qr code that is going to simply store a, a, a google uh so you're going to store, store a simple uh, link to a certain website so for example if you go to your phone and you scan the qr code then it will take directly to that uh, to uh, redirect it to a certain website okay <clears throat> that's something very simple that you're going to do so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a directory on my desktop so i'm going to create the directory i'm going to call it a uh, qr code uh qr code uh let me just call it qr code uh generator <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to change directory into my qr code generator and this directory is right now we have nothing inside of this directory so inside of this directory i'm going to go ahead and create a python virtual environment because i don't want my global python environment to be mixed with my python uh with my uh the this product uh project project uh you know, global environment okay so i'm going to create a virtual environment to separate the python global and uh, environment from my project environment okay so i'm just going to do uh python 3 and then i'm going to do dash m v and v and then v and v again if you're on windows uh or if you're on windows the command for creating a virtual environment is different but if you're on mac then this command should work for you so if you're on windows take a time and search on the line to get a command how to create a virtual environment if you don't want to create a virtual environment on windows then it's fine you can probably you can uh, find uh, this install the uh the, uh, the library is going to use in your global python environment so if you're on linux or mac this is how you activate your virtual environment again if you're on windows again it's different uh windows is just different to create to activate your virtual environment so make sure that you google the command to create and activate your virtual environment so if you're on mac and uh, linux you can see that you cannot you can notice the name of the virtual environment within practice parentheses in front of the line that shows that your virtual environment is active and if you do an ls you can see uh, the, the virtual environment right there. and for windows it is uh, dir okay so once that we have that and we have the, the virtual environment created and activated let's go to google and install the library that going to so we're going to say qr code and then uh python so let me just say qr generator python click on that and then uh, we're going to go to piper.org and then click on this link on the first link once you click it to bring you to this website i'm just going to copy this link over here and i'm going to go back here and simply paste it here and press enter so this is going to go ahead and actually install that library to generate a qr code in my python uh, environment so just ignore this for now uh, what one thing we need to install uh, we need to do is we need to actually use this command that's why we are getting that error so make sure that you copy this command and install it so just uh, uh, use this command right here <coughs> and press enter this will also imp install a pilot that we we'll use to save our images so make sure that you, you use uh, the second command this command right here and not this one okay because you're going to use pilot to save the qr code so that's my error so make sure that you use this command and not this command okay so once that we have that already installed i'm just going to click the terminal and i'm going to go ahead and actually open up visual studio code so once visual studio code is open up you can get to create a simple qr code and then from there we'll advance and learn more advanced topic and creating qr codes using python so now that my visual studio code has already opened up i'm just going to go ahead and create a file so instead of my root directory i'm going to create a file in this file i'm going to call it a qr code underscore zero one dot pi okay so qr code underscore zero one dot pi and i'm going to press enter that's going to create for me that file if you're not on visual studio code feel free to use any editor that you're comfortable using okay so once that i have the visual studio code open up and my file set i'm going to go ahead and actually import qr code the library that we just imported okay so make sure that your file this file name is not qr code or else you have an, an error so make sure that you use another name for it okay that is different from the name of that library so i'm just going to give some bit, bit of space here <coughs> excuse me so now that is done i'm going to generate a qr code so i'm going to say i'm going to say uh, qr code underscore image and then it's going to be a qr code image and i'm going to say this is going to be um this is going to be i'm going to say a qr code 
dot uh, make just like that and in here you can specify whatever data that you want to get whenever you scan the qr code in our case you want to access a website right so you can even store in here maybe hello uh hello world so if a person scans the qr code the message that you get it could be a hello world but i want to store a google link okay so i'm just going to go here and then be uh https colon two four slash uh, www.google.com just like that so if a person scans our qr code he should get this link and he can visit google.com okay so this could be any link you want or anything that you want the user to get once they have scanned uh, the the qr code so now you've done that you're going to save the qr code i'm going to call it a uh, uh, qr code uh, dot qr code underscore zero one dot png so i'm going to save it as a png you can save it as a jpg or something so it's going to be sorry it's going to be qr uh, uh, qr uh, image qr code underscore uh, image okay so just make sure i delete that so once we run this code it's going to generate for us the qr code so you can run python code so you can just go in the terminal and then do uh, python 3 uh, let me just uh, make sure I have that in there. Yeah, we will do Python 3 QR code, and then I'm going to run this. So once I run this, you can, and if I go back in here, you can see I have an image here called QR code underscore 01.png, which is the name that you have used when saving it. So if I open this up, you can see I have this QR code. So that's how, so if you now get your phone, maybe you're an, uh, an iPhone, I think iPhone automatically have QR code scanners, but if you're on Android, you can download a QR code scanner on your Play Store. And then if you scan this, it's going to return to you the message which you have just encoded, which you have just stored in this, uh, in this, uh, QR code which is just uh, uh, HTTPS uh, Google.com so if a person scans this it will get Google.com and you can go ahead and visit Google.com so you can store any information you want instead of the QR code I'm not going to go ahead to show you how to scan the QR code try this on your free time in the in the future videos you can actually learn how to decode this QR code and stuff like that so let's go ahead and actually see so once that you have done, you have this is the basic of how to create a QR code. So let's go into more advanced topics. So, so now that you have seen how to uh, to generate a simple QR code using uh, using a Python, let's go into more advanced topic. And uh, let me just go ahead and actually create a file here. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it QR uh, QR code underscore zero uh, two dot pi, just like that. So in here, I'm going to learn more in, more. Uh, uh, how to customize our QR codes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and try import that library. Okay, so I'm just going to put some more spaces in here. So let's go ahead and actually generate that QR. So I'm just going to call it QR, and this is going to be a QR uh, QR code. So QR code, and then dot uh, QR code, and then dot um, I'm going to say dot QR code. And then inside here we need to write in the following so we need to write the version so the version is a version of the qr code that you want to do if you know i'm not really an expert about the version so i'm just going to use version one according to official documentation if you're not sure which version to use then feel free to leave version as none okay so one thing you also specify is the error correction so the error correction what basically it does is that it used to, uh, it um the, the parameter controls the error correction used to generate the QR code. And this error, this error correction vary between 7% uh, to 13% to error, error, uh, error code, okay? Error correction, rather. So we're going to specify the error correction. So you can just say error correction and the different error corrections that you can use. So if you just, let me just take you back to official documentation. And now let's scroll down here. You can see the different error codes. So if I scroll down, you can see the error code that you can use. So you can use error code underscore L1, which is 70% error, uh, error correction less errors can be uh, corrected. We have the 15% so error correction and we have also the 30% error correction. So 30% or less errors can be corrected. So 7% or less errors can be corrected. So that's a great thing to do. So I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to use L2, okay? So I'm just going to use L2, uh, sorry, underscore uh, error correction, uh, underscore L1, underscore, sorry, underscore L, and then we'll use that. So it's going to say, uh, you're going to say uh, QR, so let me just uh, this say QR, just uh, this is going to say QR code dot. Uh, I'm going to say constant, constant, constant dot. You can say uh, error. This all uppercase. So you can say uh, let me just put upper. So it's going to be error, error uh, underscore correction, error correct underscore L1. So we're going to use the L1 error correction here. So once we have that specified, you can also go ahead and specify other parameters. So you can say that uh, box sizing. So what, what does box sizing do? So box sizing, what it basically does is, um, 
This parameter controls the number of pixels that I use to generate the boxes, each boxes of the QR code. So when we have to control the boxes, each of these boxes, so you can see the different boxes generating the QR code. So if you want to control the size of those boxes, you're going to be using a box, uh, a box, so let me just go back here. We're going to be using a box size parameter. Okay, so you can specify a box size. Uh, the, by default, I'm just going to specify box size to be, uh, sorry, I'm going to specify box size to be uh, size 20. So I'm going to say box size is going to be size 20. And then we can specify also border. Another parameter we'll talk about is border. So the border, this parameter, what it simply does, it controls uh, controls the thickness of the border of the QR code. So the thickness of these individual borders of the QR code is controlled by using the border uh, size. So you can just specify it by default is 4. So I'm just going to use 4 pixels here. So this is a number of pixels and this is also 20 is a number of pixels. Okay. So once that we have that specified, let's check if you can specify another parameter. So yeah these are all the parameters that are going to be uh, specifying in here okay so we have the version if you know the version just use default by none okay i'm not really an expert in generating q uh, creating qr codes so i'm going to do a qr uh, qr dot add dot add data and i'm going to simply go and ask the url so i'm going to https uh, uh, go to first to first slash www dot google uh, dot com so this is going to be a qr code that will get uh, the data that are going to sorry the data that you're going to be adding to our qr so qr code dot add data and it's an attribute you're simply adding the google.com as our data and i'm going to make qr code dot make and the make parameter is simply going to do you can just say fit and uh, fit here and you can say fit is going to be true just like that so once we have that you can just say uh, Im uh, image and this is going to be qr code dot uh, make uh, underscore image and it's going to make for you an image of the QR code so you can specify the fill color fill uh, fill underscore color just like that and you can specify the fill color to be any color that you want so you can just specify the fill color I'm going to specify in this case I'm going to specify uh, let's say uh, blue for now just specify blue and I can do uh, back uh, I can do background uh, bug color and the back color, I can specify the back color I want. So I can just specify the back color to be maybe white, just like this. So the front color, the, this will just be the fill color to be black, just like this for now. Later, I will change it to be blue so you can see the difference is what it makes. So you can say the fill color, by default, the fill color is black. And then the back color is going to be black or going to be white rather. So once we have this, you can just do a uh, image.save. And then you can specify, you can say QR code underscore zero to dot uh, png just like that so once you have that you can go ahead and actually run the code and let's see if we get that qr code this is going to be uh two and then let's auto complete that and run the code so we have an error here so we say okay i have an error here contents uh constant so this is going to be a uh, constant so this will be uh cons constant yes, i hope that's the spelling of constant so it'll be constants rather code so constants so let's try to run this again and hopefully we don't get any more errors. So now we run it and let's go and see uh, the image that we get. So we get this and if you run it, see this is a QR code that we got. So it's different from uh, this one right here. So we can see this is a QR code that we got. So we can now customize our QR code to our liking. So let's go and go here and can change the color. Let's say this one to be uh, blue, uh, black, uh, fill color is blue. And then we can, we can say this one to be maybe black, just like that. And let's try to run the code again and let's see what we get this time around. So once we run that, you can go back in here and let's check. And this is the kind of QR code that we get. So we can uh, specify different parameters to create a different QR codes. So we can even scan this with your phone and then get the detail. And the detail that you get back is simply this uh, link to google.com. Okay. So you can specify any data that you want. And you can just say also hello world and if you uh, scan that qr code you get hello world and the next tool i'm going to show you how to actually scan a qr code okay using opencv so that's what we're going to be talking about in this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to be how to read a qr code using opencv so guys thanks for watching if you're new to the channel kindly consider subscribing hitting the notification bell so you guys can uh stay updated whenever i upload the next video on how to read a qr code thanks for watching see you in the next one keep safe